We're in the home of Martin Granger, one of last night's goal scorers, and his son, Sonny, our special guest tonight. Also got Jerry Gill and Stan Lazaridis with us. We're going to talk to them in just a moment's time, and the little one as well. But before we do, let's have a look back at those wonderful scenes from last night. Birmingham's 4-1 victory over Ipswich. Something special was always anticipated, but what was to come would exceed all expectations. Adebola with the cross. And the goalkeeper came, and it could fall here to Horsfield. by Gill. One rather fortunately by Adipola. Through for Horsfield. Onside. Good save. Horsfield. Yes. Birmingham ahead. Only in the way goal could thwart Birmingham now. It did within a minute. Back to square one for Birmingham. Once again, they had to score. And shuffled along for Sonic. And that's a good ball, and here's a chance, and Birmingham are back in the lead, and Horsfield has scored it! His night, maybe their night! 17 excruciatingly long minutes to endure, the party still on hold, but not for much longer. Oh, Wright's lost it, Johnson can finish it! a catastrophe that had threatened all evening. The pitch played a massive part here. No consolation to Richard Wright. And the one whistle they want to hear is imminent. They've heard it. What a night for Trevor Francis. Move over Aston Villa. Tonight, the first team of the second city is Birmingham City. Lads, been fantastic all the way through. Uh, beat Tottenham, Newcastle, now I've beat Ipswich here. Uh, we've proved we're a Premiership side. We've just got to get there. They were brilliant. I drink them. They were fantastic. I have to say, you know, for a first division club, um, not only did we are uh, we in the uh, in the final of the Worthington Cup, but watch out uh, Premiership because I tell you, this is a proper proper side, and we are um, we are Premier bound. If I'd not been in the dugout tonight. I'd have been out there with the rest of the supporters cheering the team on as a blue supporter. So, uh, you know, I've done it for them tonight. They deserve this. Uh, you can see the reaction at the end. I don't think they could quite believe it because uh, at 3 1, they were absolutely ecstatic. And of course, when the fourth one went in, um, they knew that they were in dreamland. Well, well, dreamland last night. There'll be a few drinks as well. Not much <coughs> sleep, I guess, lads. So the big question who had the worst hangover this morning? It's going to be Jerry Gill. I think it was Jeff Horsfield to be honest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would he admit to it? Great start last night, that goal, perfect timing. To bang one in on such a big occasion, how did it feel? Well, I ain't sunk in yet, to be honest. Uh, it was a good feeling, it's, it's the start we needed. And uh, it pushed us on to win the game. Now, you've got a big one coming up. As you say, atmospheres last night, you don't get much better than that. I think it sort of shook them up almost, if they didn't quite expect that, did they, Jerry? No, I mean, they've been to a lot of premiership clubs, obviously, this year, and it's, um, St Andrews was an intimidating place to be last night. Um, they spurned us on to the, to the very end and, you know, at the end of the day, they've got the result for us. It means everything to the fans. What does it mean to yeah. a player to go to such a big cup final against one of the biggest sides in the world at one of the best stadiums in the world as well? Well, this is, you know, as a player, this is what you play for. You want to, you know, be in the finals and uh, especially for our club, which uh, has been 38 years now for a, for a final. So, um, we're going to look forward to it. Those tickets will go like hotcakes when they eventually go on sale. Come on, lads. Can you yeah. do it? Yeah, I mean, we've got a chance, we're in the final, it's a one-off, and hopefully we can pull it off. Wonderful, wonderful game last night. People there were just over the moon, and as yeah. I say, it'll take you a few days to come down to Earth, won't it? Yeah, I mean, we're back in training tomorrow, and we've got Norwich to look forward to on Saturday, so we've got to put this in the back of our mind and hopefully uh, get a result on Saturday. Well, it looks as though this one's starting, yeah. the, the cheering already yeah. for the big game. 25th of February is the date, we'll be there, of course, with all the build-up over the next few days, and it sounds like this one will be roaring them on all the way to the glory. Thanks for joining us, lads.